If you've ever worked in Final Cut a lot, you've probably deleted so many project files. Now, if you're wondering what I mean when I say project files, every project has raw footage and then it has a Final Cut file. That file pretty much tells the computer how to place all your raw footage with all the transitions and fades and render it out, everything. And that file gets so large that eventually it's too big to store and you kind of just delete it. Fast forward six months, you have raw footage and then you generally only have your final exported project. But there's a way to change the size of that file. And I'm going to show you how. Now let me explain. When you start a project, let's say Sam's Wedding or Asus Ads, Sam's Wedding is a library. So you would go to File, New, you'd start your library, and that library file will be placed where your raw footage is. And in that file, you can have two projects in Final Cut or three projects or as many as you want or only one. So for Sam's wedding we have her short wedding and we have her long video, her ceremony, whatever you want to call it. In the ASUS ads perhaps you went out and you filmed an entire day with ASUS to create five different ads. So you have five projects within one library. Now once you have finished editing either one of these projects, your library or your main Final Cut file, which looks like this, generally has a very large size and storing it is just really such a waste. So like I said, you delete it. Now for the past two years or so, I've been doing this quite frequently and only when I spoke to someone that uses Final Cut, I realized that they didn't do this. And it became so natural for me that I decided I'd make a video and share it with you guys. Check this out. Now, as I said, you can take a project from 220 gigs down to 1.5 gigs or a smaller project down to a different size. So I'm gonna show you a different project. Here's an ASUS ads project that I was working on. If I right click over here and I say get info on the project, you're gonna see the file size is 69 gigs. So I'm gonna close that. So I'm gonna right click, show package contents, and here you're gonna see these files and folders. You need to go to this folder, which is a dated folder. This is the exact same folder that correlates to this event that you've made. And in here you're going to find various things, render files or transcoded media. And what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the render files and we're going to delete these render files. Once they've been deleted, you can go all the way back and you can right click and say get info. And now it's down to 15.5 megs. The exact same thing applies if you've got transcoded media or proxy media. You would right click, show package contents. You would go to that same folder, the dated folder generally, that's how I just leave it. And here you would do the same, but you'd go to your render files, you'd delete these, you'd go to your transcoded media and you'd delete them too. Now the key to this is to always keep Final Cut closed in the background. If Final Cut is open and you start deleting the transcoded media or the render files of that project, Final Cut may actually start to recreate them straight after you've deleted it, making that file not so small. So you could literally shrink any file size to a storable project file size that you can keep forever. And that's it. You never have to delete a project file again. You can take a project file that's 20 gigs and it can go down to 10 megs and storing it is super easy. You may have a client that will come back in a year and say, listen, we want to use that footage again, the very same project, but can you change it a bit? Now you have that working file and all that's going to happen is when you drag it onto your editing drive and you double click on it, it will open Final Cut and it will start to render out and do the transcoded media or proxy media, whatever you had previously set to. So there's no need to delete project files anymore and you can just keep them. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, smash the like button please consider subscribing. We make a bunch of YouTube content, camera gear, and we have a pretty bad sneaker fetish. So we'd appreciate it if you stuck around. So wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night. Goodbye.